what's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl queen dogs crime and i'm back with another video so today we're going to be talking about summer wills and her just vanishing allegedly from her home i'm going to be playing a couple of videos as well i've already done a video on summer wills prior to this video but I wanted to give um, an updated video of things we have learned about Summer Wells, her father Don, and her mother, um, and just more details that we did not know in the prior video, okay? So first off, I want to say it's been three weeks, almost four weeks, in between three and four weeks, and we have still not found Summer Wells, okay? I did a poll, y'all, um, a couple of days ago I did a poll because this weekend, Saturday morning, I'm going to drive out to Rogersville, Tennessee. And I'm going to look for answers and talk to a couple of people and probably participate in a few searches that they're gonna have. So, with that being said, that's what I plan on doing this Saturday. I will keep y'all posted. I've also heard that there's no cell phone, really um, bad, it's bad connection of, of cell phones and, and things of that nature. So if I have a cell phone problem, I probably won't be able to go live, but I will like record on my phone things that I can record and um, I will just Maybe do a video for you guys, let y'all know what I found and things of that nature. Um, that's what I plan on doing this Saturday. So, because at the end of the day, and if anything happens, like pretty much close to my home where, you know, I do work, I'm a mother. But in my free time, sometimes on the weekends, if, it, you know, stuff happens in Tennessee that's close to my home, I'll make that drive. I'll make that move to help out, to find answers, because that's what we do. Um, we deal with crime, we deal with missing people, missing children, because this whole case rings of foul play. This whole case rings of foul play. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get into it. Speaking on camera for the first time since her daughter was reported missing almost two weeks ago, Candace Bly sat down with our sister station, WJHL, in the Tri-Cities tonight. Among other things, she spoke about the night of her daughter's disappearance, walking us through what she said happened the day the five-year-old went missing. Take a listen. Me and my mother and her were planting flowers. And we went in after we got done washing our hands, and she got a piece of candy from Grandma. And she wanted to go back over and see her brothers. And I said, okay. And I walked her all the way over to the porch. And I watched her walk into the kitchen where the boys were watching TV. And I told the boys, I said, I'll be back. And within two minutes, I came back. And I asked the boys where their sister was. And they said, she went downstairs, mom, to play with her toys in the playroom. I said, okay, and I yelled downstairs for her a couple times, and I didn't get no answer, which was unusual because usually she always answers me. And so I went down there to check, and she was nowhere in sight. Now, Bly says she believes Summer was abducted. However, TBI says the circumstances surrounding her disappearance still remains unclear. More than 560 tips have come in since the five-year-old Hawkins County girl went missing. All right, so let's go ahead and address this real quick with Candace. So Candace's story and Don's story don't add up. Neither neither one's story adds up. But let's go ahead and start with Candace. So in this clip, she says that she, the grandmother, and Summer was outside planting flowers, okay? And then Summer went back inside, got her candy from her grandmother, went back inside, went to play with her brothers. Candace turned away for two minutes and Summer 
vanished, okay? She couldn't find her after the candace turned away for two minutes. Now, I'm going to let y'all hear what the dispatcher says and what Dawn said because when Summer went missing after she couldn't find her, she called Dawn. So, Dawn works an hour away. Okay? And when she called Dawn, he told her to hang up and call the police. And he said he's going to call the police too. So, they both called the police. And what he's told the police was different than what she's telling us. Okay? So, I'm going to let you listen to what the dispatcher said of what Candace was doing when Summer went missing. Because you see, Candace just said she was planting flowers with the grandmother and Summer. But Don told the police something different. And you're going to hear on dispatch what the police said Candace was doing. When something doesn't add up and something don't make sense, it's not true. It's a lie. All right? And we also know that they neglected Summer. They didn't watch her a lot of times. Even they said that they would have to go looking for her. Her brothers would leave her outside. They spoke this on themselves. So we knew they had tendencies of neglecting Summer, not watching Summer. They would always do that. And I believe that Candace and Don is trying to protect their image. But they already spilled the tea. You already told us y'all wasn't really watching Summer like that. That Summer pretty much fended for herself. The house was nasty. They did a lot of things on their own. But yeah, Summer was neglected 100% of the time. So we're going to see what... The dispatcher said Candace was doing because Candace said she was playing flowers when Summer went missing. That's what she was doing before. But dispatcher said something else. Let's listen. In her traffic from emergency dispatchers the night Summer Wells disappeared. Take a listen. Sierra, 110, 110, on the Street. Should be the first residence on your ride. Reference to a missing four-year-old. The parents have called in and advised that the mother had went for a walk, came home, now they can't find her, they've been dealing with work. She's been gone for about 10 minutes now. Again, audio from police scanner traffic that evening. Dispatchers referenced Summer Wells as a four-year-old. We now heard that correction. The they've been dealing with work. Okay, so let's, 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 let's check this out. Let's check this out. So dispatch is saying that Candace went for a walk and left the kids at home, came back, Summer was gone. But Candace, hold on now, Candace just told us that she was with her mother in Summer outside playing flowers. She got a piece of candy from Grandma and went to play with her brothers. These are two different stories. These are two, completely two different stories. Doesn't make sense, does it? Doesn't add up. The police, the FBI, and TBI don't believe that Summer's anywhere away from the house. That's why they're still out there, almost a month later, still searching. They're still searching. The area around the house in the woods because they believe that the baby is out there. They believe that the baby is out there somewhere. And they also said they have no reason to believe that Summer was abducted. There's no evidence to prove that Summer was abducted. There's no evidence. There's no body that's seen a truck or well, I think there's something that came out about a truck, but there's nobody at this time that they don't have reason to believe she was abducted. They might have found a witness that's driving the truck that might have seen something. And they're looking for him right now, or her, whoever that person is that drove the truck. But right now, Candace and Don's story 
doesn't make sense. And while I'm right here, you see that they said she went for a walk. But Candace said she was planting flowers. That's a red flag because it don't make sense. That doesn't add up. When the story is true, it's going. You, it's not going to be no changes, no differences. It's going to be the same thing. And I believe that Candace and Don is trying to protect their image because they knew that they was very neglectful to Summer. Summer would fend for herself. Summer was always left alone outside, here and there. Whole thing was probably everywhere by herself. But they was neglectful to Summer. So they're trying to make it look like Candace always watched Summer. When we know that's not true. They've said it themselves. So we know that's not true. But let's keep going. So let's go ahead and talk about Don who also called when he got off the phone with Candace. But he said he was an hour away at work. He works an hour away. But he also said that he, when he got there, the police weren't even there yet, that he beat the police there. Now, are we to believe if you work an hour away that you beat the police there? How is that possible? Even if you was going 80, 90 miles an hour, you would have taken what, maybe about 40 minutes versus the hour to get there? How would you have beat the police there? That doesn't make sense. That would have, if for you to have beat the police there, Don, that would mean that you must have been in the area or close to the vicinity of the area at the time Summer went missing. You would have to be in a close range somewhere for you to beat the police there. So was you really at work an hour away? Or do you want the people to believe that you was at work an hour away? That doesn't make sense either. So I'm pointing out things that doesn't make sense and also giving y'all an update on what we have found out. So we have found out that Don said he was an hour away, but beat the police there at work. Candace said she was planting flowers. Dispatch call was released. They said she went, she left the house, went for a walk. So there's, I see many consistencies in lies. Where is Summer Wells? Where is Summer Wells? And we're going to go ahead to the next clip because it's another red flag that I want y'all to see. Don and Candace, they always speak of Summer in past tense. Like they know she's gone. They know she's never coming back. That's how they speak about her. I want y'all to check this out and how they keep saying that the child isn't out there in the woods. She's not nowhere near the house. They want the police to go search elsewhere. They keep saying she's not here. Y'all need to go look elsewhere. She was abducted. She's with sex traffickers. They keep pushing the people and law enforcement to go search elsewhere. That's another red flag. Why are you so persistent in believing that Summer is not on the property? But it seems like the police don't believe that because they're still out there searching the woods and the properties. They still believe that she's somewhere out there somewhere, that she wasn't abducted. So I'm going to play this next clip, and I want y'all to let me know what y'all think about this. With the next clip, I'm going to play right here investigation again today not holding a news briefing saying that they're only going to hold news briefing when's there uh, when there's a significant update in the case crews meanwhile have been searching they say in a targeted way in the areas near the home of summer wells today and they have been searching since june 15th when she was reported missing today the tbi said they've received 650 tips from the public 
And despite those tips and despite searching 3,000 acres, search teams say they have yet to be able to find the little girl. Search crews told us that though they're no longer searching around the clock, they are still following up on every lead that comes in. Bianca Murray reports Summer's parents do not believe she's in the woods near their home. I know she didn't walk away from this property by herself or off this yard by her swing. I feel in my heart that somebody has came up here and took her, has lured her away from here. The parents of missing five-year-old Summer Wells saying they never thought she was in the woods near their home, but that they believe she was abducted. Search crews coming through nearly five square miles around the Wells home. We have to do one step at a time, I guess, but I'm sorry that they had to spend so many man hours in these woods and everything. I've seen them limping and everything else, you know, and I feel for them. Summer, not the first girl to go missing in her family. When my sister came missing, I was in between Arkansas and Tennessee. I don't know all of what happened or what did happen, but I hope that they find her too. When you see cases like that, that's why I lose hope on summer. You know, I want to keep hope, but some. Don, why are you losing hope on your daughter? It's only been a couple of weeks. You shouldn't lose hope on your daughter, and she's only been gone a couple of weeks. You're just so sure she's not coming back. That's how he's always been speaking this whole time someone's been missing. He's always been speaking in past tense, and he's not hopeful. He has no faith. It's like he already knows she's gone. She's not coming back. What do you know, Don, that we don't know? Candace, what do y'all know that we don't know? It's going to come out. So you might as well just be honest. Times I just, I, I, I just, I lose hope. Fear beginning to spread through the Wells home as Summer remains missing. And then it really bothers me to find out that we've had sex offenders living within eight minutes of my house. Keep a close. And you shouldn't be so concerned with the sex offenders, Candace, because this is another distraction that y'all are, are attempting to do. Did I'm just not falling for her. Because I'm sure you know Don's son, his oldest son, is a sex offender. Now, not only is there sex offenders out there that they want us to believe that took Summer, but Don's oldest son is a sex offender as well. Now, when they spoke of Don's older son, they said that he had consensual sex with someone that was 18 months younger than him. And I don't believe they're being honest with that because allegedly the son was 19 at the time and the girl was 18 months younger than him, so about 17 turning 18, right? Or 17, okay? So how would the police and everybody know about their sexual encounter? And if it was, if it was consensual, how would they know and why would they be looking for Don's son? So it sounds to me in that case that either somebody reported or her, she reported rape, and maybe the son is saying that it was consensual. But for it to be consensual, and she just 18 months younger, and it was so consensual, how did the police find out? And why would the son gun, they were so gun-holed on finding Don, Don's oldest son? If it was no crime taking place with them, it shouldn't have been a big deal, because she was just 18 months younger than him, okay? So if it was not such of a big deal, it shouldn't have been a, reported to the cops, right? So that doesn't even sound realistic or true. It sounds to me like the girl reported rape. But either way it go, he's considered a sex offender as well. A, allegedly had a sexual crime. Now, he's not the only one with a criminal past. You also have Don with a criminal past. You also have Candace with a criminal past. Now, I'm not saying that just because you have a past that you're a murderer, you're a psychopath, you're a sociopath. No, I'm not by no means saying that. 
okay? Everybody has a past, and everybody's past ain't pretty. But like the police said and the FBI, their past charges does play a part in this case. They're going to look at that just like we're looking at that. Drug pass, Candace and Don domestic pass with each other. Her saying she was scared for herself and her kids a year ago because he's a drunk. There's issues within this family. There's problems. There's issues. Okay? Then don't forget that the house is, is very... It's, 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 the house is almost inhabitable. Okay? You almost can't even live in there. I don't see how they even had kids living at home. And I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. How do you have kids living in that nasty, filthy house? I've seen country living. I am a country girl. We don't live like that. We still keep a clean house, clean children. A lot of times when we saw Summer, she was filthy. And they wouldn't know where she was at majority of the time. There was a lot of things that was going on in that house, in their past, in their criminal past. So that does play a part. And their stories don't add up, which leads me to believe that they neglected Summer. There's only a couple of possibilities in this case that we could have. They ne neglected Summer, didn't know where she had. She had an accident. They found her and hid the body. Okay. She may have been playing in water, drowned, they hid the body. Or they did something to Summer and hid the body. Or possibly gave her to someone. But I'm really leaning towards them being neglectful because they've always been neglectful. They said they would look they would have to send somebody out to go find her a lot of the times. So with that being said, that's probably what happened. She was out somewhere. They didn't, wasn't watching her. She's five. You gotta watch a five-year-old. But anyway, they was out, they wasn't watching her. She was out, something happened. She probably got hurt and they, and they, and they hid the body. That's what it's looking like it happened. But we're not getting the truth. We don't know what the truth is. And we might not ever get the truth from Don and Candace because they're trying to portray like there was great parents when we see through the bullshit. We know they wasn't. They, they let it slip. They wasn't great parents. Don wanted to say he was an hour away and he beat the police there at work. How? How, Sway? Candace said she was playing flowers. Her mama just got back from having knee sir, having um, going to the doctor because she was sick and her knee was hurting. But she wants us to bleed right after that. They was out there playing flowers. If my grandmama's ill, she was sick, not feeling good. I took her to the doctor, got her medicine. She's having knee problems. You think I'm gonna have my mother out there planting flowers? That story is not believable. We the people, we ain't crazy. You just said your mother was sick. She wasn't feeling good. You mean to, you mean to tell us you think we, she was, we believe that she was out there planting flowers? No. But Don, when he reported someone missing, was saying you left one for a walk. So which one is it? Which one is it? Was you gone taking a walk? And someone was missing when you came back? And Don's story making me believe that he was somewhere close to that house, that y'all both know what's happened to Summer or where Summer was at. I believe y'all both know. And I believe y'all both had a hand in knowing 
and doing whatever it is that was done. But y'all are very much so persons of interest in this case. And I already knew something was up with this case when Candace took three weeks to come out and make a statement. And I have seen no tears from these parents. No tears, no nothing. They always speak of her in past tense. It's just a bunch of red flags in this case. And I don't like and want the parents to be guilty. I don't like and want the parents to be guilty, but their stories just doesn't make sense. And why would you lie and make up stories only if you're guilty of something or guilty of knowing something or feel responsible for something? That's the only why you would do those things. That's the only reason you would lie. Or make up things that's not true. Or that make up things that didn't happen. Um, so we're at um, almost $50,000 of reward money if anybody that gives any information that helped find Summer. Do you think if she was abducted or possibly... If anybody seen something, you don't think they would report it for the $50,000? Oh, yeah, they would. But let me tell you, nobody's going to give any tips to lead to Summer. You want to know why? Because Summer is most likely 90%. I'm, also, I'm almost 90% sure that she's somewhere near that house or in those woods. That's why I do not believe that nobody's going to give a tip to lead to her anywhere else because nine times out of 10, she's on that property or in the woods. And who would know that area better than Don and Candace? Nobody. They live out there. They know all the, the spots that could get rid of something or to hide things, they would. So I agree with the police and them as far as to not stop searching out there and keep checking the woods and places in water. Hopefully they send out a dive team, I'm not sure, but hopefully they do send out a dive team and check the water. Because I, I believe she's out there and like they said, there's no proof that she's been abducted. There's no proof that somebody came and got her. But that's not an area where people would be driving by and see a little girl outside playing. They wouldn't see that. So this is, like the police said, this is a very weird case. Circumstances doesn't make sense and does not add up. In this case, it just don't. It's just a bunch of lies from these parents. And these kids in inhabitable conditions, as far as that have. And don't forget, Don has said that he thinks somebody was watching her on Facebook and came and got her. She's five. She shouldn't be on Facebook no way. And that's just my parental advice. My five-year-old don't have no Facebook. What? No. No. You five. What you need a Facebook for? Who you need to connect with? Nobody. Except for your little friends that I know, little friends near me. You don't need no Facebook, so that don't even make sense. Things that they say don't even make sense. It doesn't add up. So I'm with the news. The news also said that things that they said does not add up and does not make sense. A lot of things in this case does not add up and does not make sense. So comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. But don't forget, I will be leaving Saturday to go talk to people, see what I can find out about Summer. Because this is what we do. 
But we're looking at Candace as a person of interest. We're looking at Don as a person of interest. Control 701. Sorry about that. I'm at work. Um, but yeah, so we're looking at these people as persons of interest. Y'all the last ones to see the child. And I was, you know, and I want to know is law enforcement, have are they talking to the children one by one alone? Because it's not, you know, they probably know about something or seen something and they're probably scared to say. But I'm pretty sure they've done that. And I'm sure they have, that they feel some way about something. They can't tell us, obviously, because it's an open investigation. But I do believe they feel like something's not right on that land out there. And just like Don's interview, he had his son so close, his son looked like he didn't want to be there, that he was scared, he was nervous. He looked like he knew something. So when you have those type of cases as well, you look at the kids, look at their body language. And no tears from the parents. What's really going on? So yeah, I will be rolling up out there in Rogersville, Tennessee, and I will be looking for answers and seeing what I can find out and checking out the area out there because that just doesn't look like from where their house is that somebody could drive by, see a child, jump out, snatch them, throw them in a car and go. Somebody would see something, you would hear something, you would see a car, you would hear a car. You would hear a child scream or fight, you would hear something. There's nothing. So it just sounds like to me the child is somewhere out there in the woods or on the property. And I think I pretty much covered everything as far as the updates that doesn't make sense in this case. Um, I think I pretty much covered everything. So y'all like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know how you feel about Candace inconsistency story and Don. Control 701, start 204. Let me know how you feel about Candace and her sick mother that they took to the doctor that day who had to go get medicine immediately after that planting flowers. Let me know if you believe that. Don't forget the Don told the dispatcher that she left the house, went for a walk, came back, someone was gone. What do you think about that story? What do you think about Don working an hour away and he telling us that he beat the police there? And don't forget the police was there within minutes, right? Maybe 20 minutes, 10 minutes. That just doesn't make sense. So comment down below, let me know what y'all think about this case. Where is Summer Wells? Cause she was always by herself somewhere did she hurt herself and they find her and hid the body? Or did they hurt Summer Wells? Or did, did someone else actually have her? I don't know. What I do know is that Summer Wells is gone. That's a fact. And another fact is that we do know that Candace's story and Don's story just doesn't make sense. That's what we do know. But thank you guys for watching. I'm not going to hold y'all too long. And I will be back with another video. Thanks again.